My name is Juan Di Peralta. I'm a berries grower in southwest Wisconsin, and we run uh, branches and berries. We grow in berries, different kinds of berries, black cherry, teronia, elderberries, and raspberry. And beside that, branches is because I grow different decorative branches and perennial flowers. And for that reason, is that name, branches and berries. We have probably 25 cows in the field, and all the time that I see this growing, I mean, I just think about the nature, you know, like how this thing is feeding the whole world, you know, all connected, and that's a helping a little bit to keep this healthy and, you know, green and, 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 and safe, that we to produce uh, healthy food, and with the cows to have healthy meat, and beside that, use the fertilizer from the cow and, you know, fertilize the land without having to buy or expend money in machine to bring those uh, fertilizer to the ground. We get surprised when we move the cows in the spring in one of the field, and we go and get it out. You can see how thing is more in between the road, in between the plant. It's so clean that you cannot even believe it. You say, goodness gracious, that is Nice thing, I didn't have to spend any time doing any weeding. It's working perfect for me. I practice food safety when trying, or at least trying to bring the cows long before the time when I need to harvest it or the, the uh, berries are getting ripe. And I don't have to bring the cows back until after I harvest it and that helped not have any excrement on the berries. You know, that doesn't happen, I haven't seen, but can happen when the cows are trying to go from one road to the other one, from one side to the other, and walking between the plant, and you know, they can stop there, because there are some cows there, and they, when they stop, they can, you know, just go and contaminate the plant right there. And that could happen. If they have to go to the bathroom, like we say, they go. We do the harvesting with a machine. When the berries are coming down on the tots, when we are harvesting, they take any leaf, any branch, because the machine do a good job taking the leaf and the branch and any bird or any snake, you know, or a spider. So, but those people are taking all those things just there, because, you know, the machine is doing a good job and any little thing, they, they are taking it out, and that is what we do. So they take most that they can, before we, we even clean and process the berries. The berries get uh, processed, watch it, clean the steam, and, and with all the regulation, you know, and that we package it in 40 pound boxes. Even when you read, sometimes uh, you, don't, you don't get, Plus, my English, English is my second language. It's hard for me to understand everything that they wrote, what they think. And it's easy for me when someone explain me what such and such thing mean. If some of those people that make the regulation go to a few different farms here and there, just to learn, not just to do the regulation, but they can see how some farmer uh, operate. Well, you can write so many things, but putting it in practice in the field, how that going to work together. And if someone explained me how that could work, then I could, could help me and help other people a lot, you know.